everything here? Uh, I am so sorry, Great Dendro Archon. We're still trying to figure out how to explain the whole thing to everyone. Because of your warning, we've brought dreamers here even if they were completely unaware of the danger. But some of them have already fallen asleep, and they haven't woken up for a long time. I fear there's nothing we can do about it. A moment of dreams is just a small interest group. We don't have enough staff members to handle this. Just as I expected. It seems my guess was correct. It's the Dendro Archon. She's back. Uh, what happened? What, why have we been gathered here? Many of you here have been experiencing some beautiful dreams. But I'm sorry to tell you that based on our investigation, there's some kind of conspiracy behind them. Before we learn the truth, please don't try to recreate the scenes in your dreams. Whatever you see, don't be tempted by them. Huh? But... I don't think it's a big deal. Aren't we just dreaming? It's not like dreams will have an effect on others. We've already met two people who ran up to the countryside alone and got caught in dangerous situations by falling to the temptations in their dreams. That's right! These aren't just dreams! It's serious! All right, I get it, I get it. So does that mean once we have some conclusive results from the investigation, we can continue to enjoy these dreams? Yeah, I still want to visit my sister in my dreams. I'm sorry if what I'm about to say sounds a little offensive, Great Dendro Archon, but... We had a discussion with the folks who just arrived here. In all of our dreams, we were able to reunite with people who are very close to us. Okay, buddy, you want to be burned to ashes if you try to... ...tag down to the Alcan. They all seemed as if they were alive again, which makes us reluctant to wake up. Yes, that's also what we've observed in our investigation. So if the results of this investigation would mean an end to those dreams, that'd be quite cruel to us. All of us understand the danger, but perhaps you can't quite understand just how much those people mean to us. I don't think everyone will be on board with the plan to abandon these dreams for good. Before the conclusion of the investigation, they'll at least want to meet the people in their dreams one last time and say goodbye. We've never had such a difficult situation before. It appears that not many people are willing to cooperate. So they still want to return to their dreams despite knowing the danger? That's right. Compared with these sweet and beautiful dreams, our warnings of danger are dull and emotionless. It looks like the situation will inevitably spiral out of control. The more time we waste, the more people will ignore our warnings and return to their alluring dreams. So... What should we do? Seems we have to go into a dream and find out the truth for ourselves. Pedrush, is there anyone here who's experiencing a marvelous dream right now? Ah, uh, let me think. Uh, yes, this way. Good. Please take us there. This lady refused to heed our warnings and fell asleep here a little earlier. She's only asleep, and hasn't started sleepwalking. It seems she hasn't sunk too deep into her dream yet. Do we also need to fall asleep if we want to go into her dream? Don't worry about that. I'm Lesser Lord Kusanali, after all. Now, don't be nervous. Just close your eyes. Imagine yourselves as waves gradually rolling onto the beach. You slowly wash over the shore, and sink into the sand. What's wrong, Traveler? You look a little disoriented. Wait, it was that Lumi? Really? Paimon didn't notice anything. Anyway, seems like we've made it into the dream. I thought we would arrive at some familiar scene, but we seem to have landed in a completely unfamiliar place. Whoa, so many giant plants, even in the sky! Amazing. 
Theoretically, we should have gone straight into Debbie's dream. Things do seem to have gone a bit sideways here. Anyway, let's see if we can find any leads. Familiar? Isn't it Puspa Cafe? Oh! Paimon sees Debbie! She's right over there! Looks like we've come to the right place! These alluring dreams often portray a scene from real life, which concurs with our previous findings. Really? Well, what about that space we were in just now? You can't mean... This is another collective dream? Yes. Given that so many people have been experiencing these beautiful dreams, I would say it's very likely that they're interconnected. Compared to an interconnected dream, independent individual dreams would be much harder to manage and manipulate. Ah, Paimon gets it now. Well, let's go talk with Debbie. Oh, but there are some other people next to her. Uh, are they dreaming too? If this space is exclusive to Debbie's dream, then the others beside her are most likely the people she cherishes. Anyway, we should confirm that first, just to be sure. Huh. How do we do that? Just leave it to me. Huh? Wait, this is a thing? Wait, her, her skill can read minds? Okay, I need to test that out. Is there other NPCs around here? I see everything! Okay, I really now feel like I really want to pull for her now. Just to use this skill. Ooh, imagine if... Wait, do this actually work in the... Serenity part? Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm, the coffee here still tastes the same as ever. <laughs> you two have traveled all around to that. Surely you've all tasted better coffee than this. I suppose so, but no matter how good things may be elsewhere, nothing beats the taste of home. That's right. It's hard to change your tastes. Anyway, here's to your return home. Welcome back, everyone. I see everything. Oh, how could they be? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Huh? She sounds a little hesitant. I've confirmed that this dream belongs only to Debbie, because I'm unable to hear the thoughts of the other two people with her. So, this is the power of the Dendro Archon? Uh, I'm gonna better watch her thoughts from now on. <laughs> don't worry. I don't often use my powers like this. It's rather impolite. All right. I need to get myself ready. It won't be easy to break it to her, but there's no avoiding it now. The, the Great Dendro Archon! Uh, what brings you here? I I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration, but... Have you noticed that what's happening here doesn't quite match up with your memories? I... I don't quite understand, Great Dendro Archon. 
What do you mean? I get it. The Dendro Archon is trying to say that it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that we're able to gather here. Hey, how about a cup of coffee for all of you? My treat. We just returned from a fruitful adventure. Memories? A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Think carefully. You of all people should know what really happened to them. Are you sure that meeting here and chatting the day away like this isn't just a product of your own wishful thinking? <sighs> yes. The reports from the Steambird were true. The ship they were on struck a reef and sank. And I never heard from Basima and Gaspar again. Hey, come on now. What are you talking about, Debbie? Yeah, trust your memories. Nothing you see here is real. I get it now. This is a dream, isn't it? But since it's my dream, it doesn't matter if this is real or not. I enjoy the way things are here. I no longer have to face the tragedies of real life. These friends mean the world to me. Nobody else can understand me like they do. There's nothing wrong with continuing this dream, is there? I'm worried that if you were to continue dreaming like this, the lines between dreams and reality will gradually become too blurred for you. These dreams will always give you what you want, while reality remains full of pain and difficult situations. If you are not careful, you can get hurt. Don't worry. I still have control. I won't let it go that far. Are you sure? Hey, how about we put all this troublesome stuff aside and get back to our coffee and snacks, hmm? Whether it's just a dream or real life, you should be happy. You can't just brush off something like this! We don't even know how you people got here or where you even came from! <sighs> Sorry. Paimon didn't mean to upset anyone. No, it's alright. I understand that you're just trying to look out for me. It seems that for now, this place is still relatively harmless for you. But I wonder if there's any way to go deeper into the dream. Huh. Now that you mention it, I once heard a strange voice tell me that there's an entrance here. I'm not interested in checking it out at the moment, but maybe I'll go in and have a look later. Okay, thanks for your help. Just as I expected. We're only on the surface of this dream. Let's go. I'm actually surprised he's that cooperating. Everyone hold hands! <sighs> it's all just a dream. I see everything! This is probably Ilman's dream. Huh? Why would he start dreaming again? Yes, but it seems that the danger isn't enough to stop him from longing for his wife. Based on what we've learned so far, he must be sleeping more deeply for his dreams to appear here. But fortunately, he already knows us from before, so hopefully we'll be able to wake him up. Oh, it's you! Incredible! I didn't know you would appear in my dream, too. Did you say dream? Wait, so you know this is a dream? Of course. Such good things rarely happen to me in real life these days. Here, let me introduce everyone. This is Minar, my wife who I mentioned before. And this is our daughter, Hydar. Hello. 
It's a great honor to meet the Dendro Archon. Whoa, Dad! You know the Dendro Archon? That's amazing! And what's this? <gasps> Is it a new toy? <laughs> no, it's Paimon, not a toy! I'll do it to the least. Anyway, now's not the time for that! Nahida, this doesn't seem to add up with what we were expecting! <sighs> You're right. Let me think for a bit here. Oh, right! We didn't see him in a moment of dreams earlier! Paimon thought he'd gone home! Sorry. I just had to make sure that Hydar could get a chance to see her mother. I had gotten pretty familiar with the hike, so I brought Hydar with me. I'm just glad we didn't meet any monsters along the way. Yes, I'm glad too. I didn't expect her to grow up so fast. It must have been very hard for him. I regret not being able to fulfill my role as a wife and a mother. No, don't talk like that. Let's leave all that unhappy stuff behind for now. Even if we're in a dream, it's still a blessing that we've been able to reunite in this way. What should we do now? Should we tell him the truth? You can... You can let me break the news. I should be the one to do it. I'm sorry, but... I should tell you that your dream did not create us. We are real people with our own consciousness. Like the last time we met, we are still investigating this dream, and we've already learned some things about it. So you mean... there's something nefarious with this dream as well? Hmm? Ilmon, what's going on? It seems... the reunion of our family is destined to only be temporary. Is mom leaving? Maybe. But in all likelihood, that is indeed how things will end. Oh. No, mom, you can't leave! I'm afraid I don't quite understand what's going on. Don't worry, Hydar. Mom's not going anywhere. Please, don't cry. Minar doesn't understand any of this. I'm fully aware that this is a dream, so that's why I've never told her the truth, but... Never mind. It's not like I would know what to say. I mean, I don't get any of the complicated stuff. But regardless of whether this dream is good or bad, you're here to resolve it, right? Yes. Then please, let us enjoy this moment for just a while longer. Regardless of whatever caused this dream to come to pass, I feel extremely grateful to have had the chance to reunite with my family. But does this dream really have to disappear? I'm afraid so. I'm sorry. Man, however, you really know how to make us sad. I don't know why, but Sumel. Somehow make me the most emotional out of the whole nation. Yeah, they had their moments, but man, you really don't give her a break. Okay, I see. Please, come this way. You can go even deeper into the dream by heading in this direction. I have heard that the further down you go, the more pleasant the dreams become. And the more you want to stay. The answer you're looking for may also be found there. Go ahead. Thank you for helping us. And I'm truly sorry. I'm actually surprised the dreamers are that cooperative. Usually they are like whitehead or what is called hair. They're blockhead to not consider this, but hmm? You're welcome. It's not like I have any say in the matter. I'm just an ordinary person, after all. Who am I to interfere with the work of a god? I'll be right behind you. I should at least let Minar and Hydar know what's going on here. Otherwise, my daughter might be mad at her mother after we wake up. We're not doing something. 
something bad, are we, Nahida? That depends on how you define good and bad. You go right on ahead. Cheer up, Dad. And Mommy, too. Thank you, Haidar. Is this too cruel for Haidar? How can I ever get her to come to terms with this? Getting more and more aggressive. Regular stairs wouldn't try to attack us. Right. Something seems to be off about our theory. Ilmon is clearly aware that he's dreaming, and he's enjoying it. Rather than dreaming on a deeper level, he almost seemed more awake. I believe we're on the right track. But we just need another explanation. It's not that the dreams are getting deeper. It's the owner's attachment to the dreams that's getting stronger. But you would never mistake dreams for real life, right? Sometimes, Paimon almost wishes her dreams could be real. But it's just a quick thought. It's not long before Paimon's thinking about other things. Like sticky honey roast. Listen, we're real beings living in the real world, and that's where our focus should be. This also explains the insubstantiality of our dreams. No matter what they may become, we don't really care. But if we decide to abandon reality and embrace our dreams, then our dreams will become far more substantial. Oh, wait! Paimon's starting to get it now! Your mind will begin to build the dream far more attentively, which in turn will make it feel more real. Do you remember how the Akasha can turn dreams into Nyana energy? Constructing a realistic dream consumes a similar energy. Host of these dreams here, like Milu, during the Subzero's festival? If we wake that person up, this collective dream will end, right? Mm hmm, most likely. But the collective dream in Sumeru City was created by the Akasha, and now the Akasha has been turned off. This has nothing to do with the Aranara, and humans are not capable of creating a collective dream. Which means. Huh? So, did someone manage to restart the Akasha? Hmm, that's impossible. But they are probably a scholar of the Academia who had a close connection with the Akasha. Even so, how did they manage to do it? And how did they choose the host? Yeah, we haven't gotten to the end yet. Once we know their motive, all the questions will resolve themselves. <laughs> 